what is an IP address? An IP address, our internet protocol address, is a numeric value assigned to every network device. It's used for the identification and location of every device connected to the network. Now, we're going to dive a little deeper into the explanation, but to simplify it, I want you to imagine sending a letter. When you send a letter, there are certain protocols you need to follow, like putting down the source address, which would be your home address, and then the destination address, which would be the home address of the intended recipient. So let's visualize this. Here, I'll have two houses, one in Georgia and one in Alaska. Now, one will be house one and two will be house two. Both of these houses have an IP address. The IP address for house one is going to be 192.168.1.1. And for house two, it's going to be 192.168.2.1. These IP addresses are host devices that are connected to the network. House one or host one wants to send a letter to house two. So house one will put down its own address on the source portion of the letter. And it'll put down house two or host two's address on the destination portion of the letter. Now this message will be sent out and received by house two. House two now has the message and has the choice of responding. If house two chooses to respond, it will look at the source portion of the address. And that's how house two will be able to respond to house one. So as you can see, an IP address is really important. It's what allows communication between networks. So for example, you watching this video wouldn't be possible right now without the use of an IP address. So now that you know what an IP address is, I have a quick little activity for you. I want you to go and I want you to write this down in your notes. Everything you learned in this video, just write it down. Or even put the whole video in there. That way, if you ever forget, you can go and you can learn it again. The next activity I want you to do is I want you to teach it to someone. Because teaching it to someone, whether it be your family member, your friend, a stranger, house cat, or even yourself in a mirror. It'll help you because one, questions will start to arise and you'll start to want answers to those questions. And ultimately, it'll really just help you into remembering all of this, to retaining all of this info. So now that you've done that, you are now one step closer to becoming an IT professional.